What's up guys, it's Matt, welcome back. Today we are talking about searching. Searching, directed by Anish Chagantri, his latest drama slash thriller starring John Cho and Deborah Messing. The film basically revolves around John Cho's character, a father, searching for his missing daughter through the use of the internet. Essentially he ends up breaking into her laptop in order to find evidence to help track her down and where she may potentially be. The film's very interesting in the sense that it is all told from the point of view of uh, John Chow's or his daughter's laptop. The whole film is basically like sort of screen, like screen capture. We see what's on the screen as though we were using the laptop. All the video stuff is kind of done through FaceTime, YouTube videos, sort of as opposed to using traditional, uh, you know, traditional Hollywood cameras. And it makes for kind of like a really interesting experience uh, in terms of watching the film. Um, I won't go into too many details regarding the plot. Obviously it is kind of a, a mystery thriller, but it is very, very gripping. Uh, the film opens up with sort of a beautiful sequence where we kind of see like the history of this family and the sort of tragedy uh, which they've already gone through. And it does a very good job of making you care for them for the rest of the story and obviously everything that happens. So you're on board with John Chow from the beginning and you, you really do feel for him throughout this. He's on the laptop looking at things and he's learning things as we learn things. And it's almost like you're, you're sat there next to him as he sort of discovers you know, these various pieces of information regarding his daughter and, and so on. And through that, the film does a very good job of keeping you gripped throughout. In terms of the uh, acting, the film's kind of kept very brief. So most of the time we are with John Chow. Um, Deborah Messing plays the lead detective uh, who's running the investigation. We have quite a few scenes with her. And then you kind of get odd sprinkle characters of when John Chow's dad uh, is contacting various friends and stuff, trying to find things out uh, about, a, about his daughter. As I said, the whole just sort of concept of the movie is very interesting. Programs which I suppose we live our lives through now, you know, FaceTime's a very regular thing, Facebook's a very regular thing. Um, and it's very interesting to sort of see a story play out through those apps which are now ingrained into our daily life, you know, they are something that we all use day in, day out. Um, and to kind of watch this mystery unfold uh, through them is very, very good. Going into it, I thought it could get a little bit tedious at times, but it's actually surprisingly well done. And I'd actually be very interested to know whether it was completely filmed that way or whether it was filmed with cameras and then they've kind of edited it to look as though it's like FaceTime and stuff like that later on. But from the looks of it, I think it has all been filmed actually through like FaceTime and webcams and, and it all feels very, very real. Clearly, uh, effort has gone into them actually being able to use Google and Facebook and so on. They've got all the right sounds um, and, and it, it all feels very, I mean, you know it's fictional, but it all feels very genuine. It, it could almost be like you are watching this sort of, you know, play out for real. One thing I will say, I think the film has been slightly mismarketed in the sense that the trailers make it feel like it's much more of a thriller than it actually is. Uh, I mean, it's kind of a mild thriller, but the, the trailers do make it seem a lot more gripping and there's a lot more tension in there. You know, more high stakes tension, I suppose, than there actually is. Of course, the situation is very high stakes, but it's not as sort of like doom, 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 doom. It's, it's kind of a, I guess the easiest way to describe it is it kind of a bit of a slow burn. Um, some people may potentially find it a little bit boring at times, but I, I, I really got into it and I would describe it as being a slow burn. It's definitely a movie that I recommend people go and watch. As I said, uh, just for kind of the experience of seeing a story told this way, it's actually really brilliantly done. The story itself, the mystery, uh, is actually very intriguing and it will keep you guessing right until the end. So searching, I am going to give the film a 7.5 out of 10. I definitely recommend you go see it. As I said, very intriguing way to tell a story, uh, unlike anything that I've ever watched before. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future. Take care.